solve the equation dx dt minus 2x equals to 4 given that at t equals to 0 x equals to 1 get the Laplace transform of this equation so the Laplace transform of dx dt is s x bar minus x naught then the Laplace transform of x, this will be equals to x bar. And the Laplace transform of, of 4, this equals to 4 over s. <coughs> now once we have gotten the Laplace transform of this equation, we now rewrite the equation. Now the equation will be s x bar minus x naught, which is this one, minus 2x bar equals to 4 all over s. So once we write the equation, we now insert in the initial conditions. We are saying that uh, at t equals to 0, x equals to 1. So this x1 is, is our x naught here. So the equation becomes s x bar minus 1 minus 2 x bar this equals to 4 all over s now this one crosses to the other side so here we have s minus 2 we factorize out x bar equals to now it will be 1 plus 4 all over s now here you can get the LCM the LCM here is s 1 into s is equals to s times times 1, we have s, 10 plus, plus 4. Now the equation becomes, we make x bar the subject, so x bar will be equal to we divide through by s minus 2, so equals to s plus 4 over s into s minus, minus 2. <coughs> so from here we get the partial fraction of this this expression it will be s plus 4 over s into s minus 2 the partial fraction for this expression will be a over s plus b all over s minus minus 2 so we multiply both sides by this original denominator so when you multiply this on this side we remain with s plus 4 equals 2 it will be a so we take this and multiply this so this s and this will cancel will remain with s minus 2 then plus we take this multiply by b this will cancel this will remain with b s then we open up the bracket this will be equal to a s minus 2 a then plus b s so this equals to grouping like terms this is a plus b s minus 2a then from here we equate the corresponding coefficients of x now here the coefficients of this x is this one so it will be a plus b equals to the coefficients of this x a is 1 like that and then we equate the corresponding constant so this we, we equate the, the constant terms we have minus 2a equals the constant term here is 4 so from this equation we can be able to get the value of a so here a equals to 4 all over 2 which is equals negative negative 2 so from here we can also get the value of b because we know that uh, that a now a is negative 2 so we have negative 2 plus b equals to 1 therefore b equals to 1 plus 2 which equals to to 3 uh, therefore we are saying that a equals negative 2 b equals 2 to 3 so here we are saying that x bar equals to now um, this our a is negative negative 2 all over s then plus b is 3 3 all over s minus 2 
Now to solve this equation, we get the Laplace inverse on both sides. So we get the Laplace inverse of x bar equals to the Laplace inverse of negative 2 all over s plus 3 all over s minus 2. The inverse of x bar will be x equals 2. So here we have the inverse of this, it will be minus 2, then plus 3. The Laplace inverse of this will be exponent, exponent uh, 2t. Therefore, x equals to 3 exponent 2t minus minus 2. Thank you for watching.